Auto Hotkey is a free program that allows you to, um, it does a lot of different things, but one thing I like is the uh, hot string replacement, which is similar to like in Word and Excel where you can put in key, a um, couple letters in the character, and it'll replace them with um, the auto replace function. And so an example would be I can type JY period space, and you'll see it puts in Johnny, which is my son's name, capitalized. Um, let's say he, Johnny, likes SPSS. Um, because he's a quant, and it replaces that with quantitative guy. Um, so what's great is that you can you can basically put any abbreviation you want um, to replace it with other stuff. So here, if I type like G A, so good afternoon, good morning, good good evening, it's very quick. Uh, I can be writing stuff a lot faster. Um, here, if I'm doing some HTML programming, and I want to say, oh, I want, um, this is cool, and then I want, oh, you know what, this is supposed to be bold and underline, I can cut that, see, um, B-U, oh, I actually didn't put that in this one, so C, blue, C, navy, and then I'll put in the HTML code, and notice it also leaves me right in here. So I can go back and paste there. This would have um, this would show up as the navy dark blue color. Um, and let's see what else. So uh, what's nice also is sometimes, often these when you type, um, you want to have a space after them. I, I, the good morning and stuff I don't because I might want to put a comma there, comma there. But like in the Johnny, you'll see that adds the space. Well, for email addresses. There's my junk email, joejunkemail.com. I don't want to have a space there, and you can you can change that behavior by having uh, um, instead of having the two colons, the abbreviation two colons, you have a colon, a small o, a colon, and then the rest just like above. Um, and then also here we point out um, this left seven. That's telling it how far left to back over after you've replaced the text. So for these, for if I do my R, which is my remark command in SPSS, um, actually it, it detected I wasn't in SPSS, so it put a semicolon in the beginning. Um, I have it program specific, so if you're not in SPSS, um, it puts a semicolon, and if it is, then it would have just put that. But if we go back to this and say R period, you notice it puts me in about the middle, which is where I like to have these typed. The, um, so let's say I'm programming a survey, uh, in Survey Gizmo, and I type SGI, so this is my Survey Gizmo importance weights. So this puts in the scale, not, and then this is for HTML for a line break, um, important, line break one, and then the pipe value, and these are, so it's a seven point scale, um, and then the very important same thing. So I have those pre built in here, um, they're very easy to configure. Um, you can also put in much longer sentences, so this is my thank you. Um, there's HTML in here, so it's not going to look quite right, but um, th thank you for taking your time to complete this survey. Two line breaks, um, your input underlined, bold, will ensure, blah, 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 blah. But you can see it's very quick and easy to um, customize, and if you have lots of words you use a lot, the name of your company, the name of uh, certain clients, of thank you very much for your time, it's very easy to um, pre-program these, and the great thing is they work in any program. The other thing is, I have, now, um, using this file, which you can download from the website, um, starting from right about here, these are um, replace things to replace of, it's a spell check. So basically in every instant messenger, in my email, and anything, I have a spell checker that I can update to um, help reflect also the things I can't spe spell correctly. Like um, I, for some reason, <laughs> I think in case is one word when it's two. Um, I, I often type independent, not independent, or dependent. Um, here's where you can see my Joe gets capitalized, so I replace Joe with the capital J, Joe, uh, and some other ones, and, and, and I like this one, the, the fee, M-A-I-L, for some reason I typed a lot, um, so it replaces it with female. Anyway, this is, uh, this is just a very small glance at the powers of AutoHotKey, because there's a lot of other things it does that are incredibly complicated, but this is one of the features I like a lot for writing code and syntax. Thank you.